Hi everybody, I'm here to talk about another chair. This is the Cascade Mountain Tech Highback Ultralight Chair. Ultralight, I don't know how they can say that it is a pretty good sized chair. Um, I weighed it on my scale, it's 3.2 pounds. On Amazon it says it's 4 pounds, but I imagine that's with the bag and everything. But the bag doesn't seem like it weighs that much. Overall, this is a nice chair. Um, watch my last chair review on the little one. It was a small chair. Kind of too small for my old body. So, started looking at other options. I ran across this on sale a while back, quite a while back. I've been using it quite a bit this year. Last year, I should say. Um, that's the frame. Instead of um, having the two long legs on one side, they have the two long legs kind of in the, on the one set of legs, which keeps it from rocking forward and back, but it does wiggle a little side to side when you're in it, which is all right. Um, the back of it actually has really long sleeves. They go all the way up. And when you put it on, you want to make sure those buggers go all the way to the top, because this is a tight fitting chair. So I always kind of Put my fingers up there and make sure it's on. Putting together is pretty simple on one side. Um, just slips right on. The other side it's really tight. But luckily, they give you these little finger holes. So you can really tug on it. Make sure the pouch is open. And overall, that's it. Um, like I said, if I hold her down, you can see it wiggles a little side to side at the top but does not wiggle front to back very much. Headrest is removable, adjustable, wherever you want it. Like myself, I kind of like it up high. Um, this thing sits you 16 inches off the ground. Um, here it's 19 wide, 38 tall. Overall, I like this chair. I'm quite happy with it. Um, Amazon sells it for $48, $49. I got this uh, on a clearance sale one of my local shops for $32. But you see my last chair video, you can see the difference in the chairs. This guy really puts your, you know, your 12 inches off the ground here, 16 here. Much easier to get in and out of. Um, the feet on this thing are great in soft soil. Um, they just sand, might sink a little bit, but they're not going to go far. Um, in the dirt, I've noticed they don't hardly sink at all. And it's sturdy. It's aluminum frame, polyester shell. Um, max weight's around 250 pounds, which is fine for me. Perfect for me, actually. Um, it's not something I'd take on a long backpacking trip, but if you're going on a short backpacking trip, throw this bugger on top of your pack, take it. Um, throw it on the bottom of your pack, take it. Um, for car camping or like in an RV or something like that, I'm taking it. Um, this is very comfortable. Um, it breaks down as easy as it comes apart, or it goes together, I should say. Um, you just pull, and there it is. Um, I like to kind of fold the bottom together like that and then just roll it up. The cable's a little dirty, but that's all right. And yeah, the legs, they all collapse, fold into the center. Um, it's a learning curve on doing it, because if you let go of these zuggers, they just uh, like to go back into place, because the bungees are real nice on it. You can see it just right back in there. I'm gonna lose that one. Pain in the butt sometimes, but not too bad. Worth it when you think about it, you know? does come with a velcro strap you can see it here um, I can't remember which way to go here the other way it only goes one way on the strap right there back in it does fit in the bag a little tight but not super tight like some products I mean some stuff you wonder how they get it in the bag the first time. I'm not getting it back in the bag. Um, this isn't that bad. Just kind of shove it in, squish it down. Um, the headrest does 
cushiony, so it kind of is the bulky part of this, but you, when you squish it down, it zips right up. Done. Um, Cascade Mountain Tech high back ultralight chair. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoy this look at it, and if you're interested, definitely look these things up. They're nice, um, and they're made in China. Um, I'm sure they're under other brand names too, because you know how China is. They make these things for everybody, and they just put their logo on them. Well, thank you for watching the video, and enjoy.